I am always so amazed. We've been doing these with, with all of you guys this season. Your back, like you, you, your background is beautiful. Here I am with like this janky curtain vibe. You're, <laughs> you're like beautiful kitchen somewhere. You look like you're in like a, a gorgeous a, pantry. Like, Thank you. Like, yeah, like, oh. yeah. Um, not not exactly it. Just um, where we keep most of our pantry stuff and yeah. a lot of the creative designing space kind of happens over here as well. I love it. Well, it's great. I, you know, I we, Sam and I were just saying before we got on with you, and we sort of said this to Nini last week. We yeah. are such fans of yours and hers, so it's weird. Oh I'm man, selfish, selfishly like excited to be talking to you, but I'm like <laughs> you're not on the show anymore. It's like I feel I, I don't know. My emotions are all over the place. Eric. No, that's that's. Uh, I appreciate that. It's really sweet to hear, gentlemen. Um, man, I'm. It's clearly a bittersweet moment when you get kicked off and you obviously had intentions to, to go as far as you could but um I can't be rad uh, excuse me, I can't be mad at the ride that I had man I mean like I, I did pretty far I did pretty well went pretty far and 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 really went up against some really like tough competition so um, I'm, I'm proud all around well that's the thing I mean we've been talking about how stiff the competition is this season I think you know I I've watched every Top Chef season I've never seen anything like this I mean people are getting sent home for not grilling something for five seconds longer. I mean, it's oh, literally yeah. that tough. And, you know, something that was interesting to me about the episode last night was you talked about how you were off, you know, just mm -hmm. like if you weren't on and maybe it's like, maybe I've been watching too much of The Last Dance on ESPN or something, but it's interesting to me that the concept of somebody working at such a high level, just, yeah. just having an off day and not being there. And if like, if I have that, I can just quit whatever I'm doing. You're totally. Um, you have cameras around. You're cooking on a reality show. I mean, it must be like, oh my god, it must be like deer in headlights. Yeah. Of course. No, I, I totally get the last chance um, analogy, man, because I'm right there with you. It's exactly that, man. If you, I mean, it, it's it's so tough to say because everyone is in a zone. Everybody's in a funk as well. Everybody's kind of tired around that time, but it just affects certain people at certain times a little bit more crucial than the next. And it really got me. Like the entire day, I just remember, and this is not huge excuse on to everything i mean execution was a played a big part of it as well um but i was just freaking exhausted man like i was just tired and uh i, I spent way too much time on that mood board i remember and it <laughs> ate up into it <laughs> ate up into my uh mood my, board. My, I mean, at least you didn't yeah. get late to yours well said yeah i could <laughs> shout out to brian <laughs> um yeah. no but man it was it was uh it was intense man just trying to like it's one thing trying to come up with the concepts two, um uh do the mood board three work on the dish at the same time i did two dishes uh in retrospect i should have did one but just to edit edit myself is probably the, the number one thing i can remember if i if i can go back well that's it, it was such an interesting episode to watch <laughs> because um you know we saw you create this really like pretty complex cool you know like interesting concept that like you know, they talk so much about food having a point of view. That concept has like a rock solid point of view and like, yeah. you know, represents a, a culinary tradition and, and a diaspora, you know, of cul culinary traditions that are so lacking, I think, in, in yeah. our food scene. And so it was like, it was kind of insane to watch that not be like lauded. And then, you know, in the next round we get a Shrek themed millennial restaurant <laughs> that's a little bit more confusing and you know like as an audience member I'm like wait what's going on here you know what I mean yeah 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 no it was um definitely interesting I mean the opportunity to present the uh the the concept itself was pretty cool um but it's it's crazy man because again like you mentioned with every other factor in the atmosphere like playing its part uh, when you're in the weeds and you're you're mentally exhausted and you know the the concept was something I was felt really comfortable like telling and, and talking about the pitch itself didn't fall um, I, I wasn't clear at all <clears throat> and that that definitely hurt me as well so man it was just an all around just like a really really rough day I remember um, so when when I got up to judges table for um, for having a low dish honestly I was not surprised like I this I knew exactly what, what the deal was. When you talk about exhaustion, I mean, can you walk me through as a fan of the show? So, like, are you doing quick, quick fire and elimination challenge? Is that all in the same day? Yeah, for the most part, they are. So, um, and that started, I mean, so you can imagine the night before, 
just working on what we needed to do for the mood board and then the, the following day hopping in and, and then like going straight to work. Or it could be an instance where you're coming off of a challenge and then there's a quick fire like the day after and then another challenge as well. Uh, so the week prior, we had some, um, between the double elimination, that really just like, that that threw me under the gauntlet, man. And it was hard to catch up, to be honest. It really was. Um, and I think that was the biggest downfall, like mentally exhausted, just physically exhausted, tired. Um, but then also like, it's it's tough to really use that as well because everyone is feeling it. You know what I mean? Everyone's really right. going through it at that time. Yeah. How much of your exhaustion comes from running through Whole Foods? <laughs> um, I'd say I say thirty five percent of it definitely <laughs> lacks. But I, yeah, it's definitely accounts for more than a third. I mean, but you know what? It, it gets easier week by week. It gets easier because you have an understanding where everything is. Um, and there's less people. Kind of, the yeah, yeah, and there's less people. Exactly. What's that? So you navigate yourself a little bit easier. But those first few weeks, man, it was it was uh, pretty interesting. I, I have to ask, you've become such a fan favorite this season. Oh, as my camera is falling over. You've become such a fan favorite this season as well as Nini, but, as Nini, but I think if there's one person who maybe outranks both of you, it is your wife, Eric. Your wife <laughs> became such a star. The two of you, Huge. I don't know. I don't know if I've ever seen two people more in love, Eric. Oh, man. Yeah, no, I appreciate that, man. That's, that's awesome. No, they, um, man. Once, once they had the phones out, I knew automatically just like with a few sentences, it was my wife's voice. So um, kind of prepared some myself. People, some people didn't. They were like, this is your mother. They're like, what? <laughs> They're like, no, it's I not. think that was Didi. Yeah, that was yeah. Didi. Um, was like, I don't believe you. <laughs> no, I, I knew, man, it's, it's funny because I can tell just by like the cadence in her voice when she's like telling something that's just a, a complete fib. So I was like, you know, I, I could sense the BS in your voice right now. Like what's going on? Try to give me the lowdown if you can. And it was interesting, man. We had a lot of fun executing the dish. Uh, we did well. She, she helped me get to the, uh, to the top on that round. Um, and, and I'm just excited, man. It was, it was pretty cool to, to, to be there in that atmosphere and for her to see it as well. Yeah, for sure. Totally. And now you get to quarantine together for the rest of time. So it's lacking. <laughs> exactly. yeah, you're, you're lucky you two like each other so much, or else you could be in some weed right Man. now. Listen, yeah, exactly. In other ways, um, this is uh, definitely a challenging moment. Either, I mean, as, with as much love in the world, or, you know, just I can't imagine, man. Everybody's kind of just scooped in and just stir crazy. So it's really just wanting to break out and be social with everyone else. But uh, I can't be mad, man. I'm doing it with my loved ones. So, I'm, I'm, so, I'm so how, how are you sort of handling all of this? It's such a strange time for you probably because the show's been on. Now it's out yeah. the world. Uh, you know, it, how are you dealing with being quarantined just from a, a personal perspective, but also from a business perspective? Uh, you know, yeah. how, how is this time treating you? Uh, personally, man, um, I'm doing the best that I can and, and trying to be the best citizen I can by just staying home, you know, um, and, and, and really looking after the, fo the folks that have those underlying conditions or, or have some, you know, immunity compromising type of you know, situation going on. So, and I have those individuals in my family as well. So I kind of just think about myself and, and, and try to think about the greater good. Uh, business wise though, it definitely taken a hit. Um, but I mean, I'm, I'm in an industry where everyone's kind of taking a hit as well. So, um, I, I had it in mind to open up my, uh, uh, my first public restaurant on the double, um, in, in early spring this month, May. Um, but that's definitely going to be uh, postponed until, uh, all the social distancing mandates kind of, you know, uh, dissipate and we can get back to normalcy. So yeah. that's what I've been waiting on, man. Um, but, uh, all in all, man, it's, it's really a time for, uh, a lot of reflecting, a lot of polishing, and then bringing awareness to to the industry and and and, and folks, especially here in D.C., man, where a restaurant is just like, it's the lifeline, it's the fabric of of this uh, this this district. So, um, yeah. just trying to bring awareness to, to everything. Is that it? Was the restaurant supposed to be in D.C.? Yeah. Yep. Yeah, exactly. Um, well, so how, opening the how how close in concept was it to what you pitched on the show? Uh, actually, it was uh, it's based off the uh, the doubles dish that Janelle helped me out with um, during, during. Oh that yeah, 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 yeah. So yep, so fast casual um, and, and kind of just a, a play off of a roti shop, um, trying to bring the African diaspora uh, through that. So uh, the concept that I pitched um, yesterday, last yesterday's episode, is definitely something that's continued being in the works right now, which I'm really excited about. So. Um, and it's unfortunate to say there's a lot of industry, excuse me, there's a lot of people within the industry that won't be able to open their doors, you know, um, once it's all said and done. Uh, yeah. But I had in mind this restaurant to open 
uh, this year or early next. Um, and I'm just kind of hoping I can keep that pushing once this is over. Absolutely, man. Well, best of luck with, with all Thank of you. that. Thank you. We're, we're such fans of yours, and it's, you know, it, it is such a weird time, and uh, we're going to miss you on the show, but, you know, hopefully we'll all get through this together and, uh, you know, bigger and brighter things ahead. Well said, man. We definitely will. Thank you, guys. All right. Thanks, Eric, so much. Right. Take care. Bye. Bye.